Hi guys, welcome to the first episode of Tech Tuesdays. This is your host Roy and every week I'll be bringing you your weekly fix of news, updates and rumors from the world of photography and cinematography. Before we jump into this week's episode, please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any updates about future videos. We have a ton of stuff in store for you guys, so make sure you don't miss any. There's something very exciting coming out from Canon. And we've been waiting for so long to get our hands on one of these. But before we get to that, let's get to the news of the week. Our first piece of news comes from Nikon. Now Nikon have announced a brand new mirrorless camera called the ZFC. The ZFC has been designed with a sort of retro look and me personally, I'm a fan of retro cameras. So when I saw the ZFC for the first time, it reminded me of the old film cameras like the Nikon FM2. The camera features a 20.9 megapixel APS-C sensor and is capable of shooting video at 4K at 30 frames per second and slow motion video at 1080p at up to 120 frames per second. The camera also features a tilty flippy screen at the back which you can turn around to face yourself which is a great feature for vloggers. The ZFC will be priced at around 1 lakh rupees in the Indian market which is highly competitive for the kind of uh, range it is in. Our next piece of news comes from Sony. Some users of the Sony A1 had been complaining about jittery and shaky video when recording and the camera would take up to 5 to 10 seconds for the image stabilization to kick in. Thankfully, Sony have addressed this in their latest firmware version 1.1. So users of the Sony A1, it is highly recommended that you go and get your firmware updated as soon as possible. This camera is autofocus kar hai na? Tu touch screen se autofocus kar hai ki? Tere se autofocus kar hai? Kaise? Guys, Canon have come out with something amazing and it is going to change the way you focus with your camera. But we'll talk about that very soon in the later part of this video, so don't go anywhere. Our next piece of news comes from Canon, who this week have announced a brand new wide-angle lens for their mirrorless cameras, the RF 14-35 f4L with image stabilization. Now, this lens has the widest zoom range among all of Canon's lenses. Now, traditionally, Canon have had the 16-35 to wide-angle, whereas Nikon have the 14-24. to So what Canon have very cleverly done is combine these two to give you a range of 14-35. to so if you're in the market for a lightweight and versatile wide-angle lens that you can leave on your camera at all time, then the RF 14-35 f4 from Canon is an amazing choice. If you're still with us, then this new topic will be very exciting. Now, Canon have announced a groundbreaking technology that I'm very excited to be talking about. Back in April, Canon had announced an EOS R3 mirrorless camera, which is their high-end camera designed like the 1D series with an integrated vertical grip and advanced features for power users. The camera features a stacked CMOS sensor with Canon's dual-pixel AF technology that has worked really well for them in the past. But the feature that I am most excited about is eye control autofocus. Not to be confused with eye autofocus, something that we're all used to, where the camera focuses on the subject's eye and tracks it. Eye control autofocus has the potential to completely change the way we use our cameras. No more fumbling around with the touch screen or the joystick to select the focus point. With eye control autofocus, the camera will use the photographer's eye to choose the focus point. It will be very interesting to see how this feature translates into the real world, especially for people like me who wear glasses or lenses. That's all we have in store for you this week on Tech Tuesdays. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe and help us build this channel so we can continue to bring you valuable content. Until next week, ciao!